On January 22, 2021, the Food and Drug Administration approved the combination of Nivolumab, Optivo, Bristol-Myers Squibco, and Cabazantinib, Cabamedix, Exelixis, as first-line treatment for patients with advanced renal cell carcinoma, RCC. Efficacy was evaluated in Checkmate 9 ER, NCT 03141177, a randomized, open-label trial in patients with previously untreated advanced RCC. Patients were randomized to receive either nivolumab 240 mg over 30 minutes every two weeks in combination with cabazantinib 40 mg orally once daily, N equals 323, or sunitinib 50 mg orally daily for the first four weeks of a six-week cycle, four weeks on treatment followed by two weeks off, N equals 328. The trial demonstrated a statistically significant improvement in progression-free survival, PFS, overall survival, OS, and confirmed overall response rate, or, for patients treated with nivolumab plus cabazantinib compared with those who received sunitinib. Median PFS per blinded independent central review, BICR, was 16.6 months versus 8.3 months, HR 0.51, 95% CI, 0.41, 0.64. Median OS was not reached in either arm, HR 0.60, 95% CI, 0.40, 0.89. Confirmed or per BICR was 55.7% and 27.1% in the nivolumab plus cabazantinib and sunitinib arms, respectively. The most common adverse reactions, greater than or equal to 20%, in patients receiving the combination of nivolumab and cabazantinib were diarrhea, fatigue, hepatotoxicity, palmar plantar erythrodysesthesia syndrome, stomatitis, rash, hypertension, hypothyroidism, musculoskeletal pain, decreased appetite, nausea, dysgesia, abdominal pain, cough, and upper respiratory tract infection. The recommended dose is nivolumab 240 mg every 2 weeks, 30-minute intravenous infusion, or 480 mg every 4 weeks, 30-minute intravenous infusion, in combination with cabazantinib 40 mg orally once daily without food until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity. View full prescribing information for Optivo. View full prescribing information for Cabamedics. The Nivolumab review used the real-time oncology review, RTOR, pilot program, which streamlined data submission prior to the filing of the entire clinical application. Both the Nivolumab and the cabazantinib applications used the assessment aid, a voluntary submission from the applicant to facilitate the FDA's assessment. The FDA approved this application approximately one month ahead of the FDA goal date. The Nivolumab application was granted fast-track review, and both the Nivolumab and Cabazantinib applications were granted priority review. A description of FDA expedited programs is in the guidance for industry, expedited programs for serious conditions drugs and biologics. Healthcare professionals should report all serious adverse events suspected to be associated with the use of any medicine and device to FDA's MedWatch reporting system or by calling 1-800-FDA-1088.